Eden Zero Chapter 1. Wow. <laughs> Either Mashima is just like really fucking good at introducing series, or this series is going to go somewhere. Let me just go and start by saying that I absolutely love this chapter. Let's just get that out of the way. I love this chapter. I love where the series is going as far as the start is concerned. I love Shiki's character. I love Rebecca's character. I love the robots. Just, oh my god. God, this chapter was everything that I was hoping for out of Eden Zero and more. I was definitely not disappointed. Now I'm gonna go and start this off a little bit negatively and actually go and talk about what I didn't like from this chapter. I apologize, but let me just say right now, what I didn't like from this chapter is definitely heavily outweighed by what I like. So to start, I really didn't like the unneeded fan service, such as when Shiki groped Rebecca for some reason when he first met her. It was just, it was a personal gripe with me. It just wasn't, it wasn't needed. It definitely wasn't needed. It's a trope that's coming over from Fairy Tale. And as well, I was a little bit on the fence with the whole friendship thing up until the very end of the chapter. At the very end, however, I did understand why all the friendship speeches were present within this chapter. I mean, aside from his grandpa and Michael, the robots were really the only friends that Shiki ever had, and they were basically his family. So I see why Mashima had the friendship speeches prevalent, however, I just... I really hope they are used very sparingly throughout the manga past this chapter. I do understand friendship is something that will definitely be a big plot line during this story as we did leave off with Shiki saying he was going to meet a ton of friends in the universe, but again, that's just my opinion. Now moving on to what I liked about Eden Zero Chapter 1, Hero Machima's brand new work. Let me just go ahead and start off by saying the plot line for the story. It isn't something incredibly original thus far, but I mean, it did catch me off guard towards the very end. The fact that the robots had planned this all out and let Shiki go in such a selfless manner really just caught me off guard. I genuinely thought there was an error in their programming or something like they said, and that, you know, they were, I guess, sentient beings now, but it was just... By the man of Shiki's grandfather, the Demon King, it was an amazing twist, and it was- I, I- I loved it! Speaking of Shiki, although it may be a little bit early to say this, I, I don't fucking care. Shiki Granbell is so far my favorite character of Eden Zero. From his powers, to his personality, you could just easily argue that his personality is very shonen-esque and resembles that of Nazi Dragneel from Fairy Tale quite a bit, but- there is definitely the added familiarity along with just who he is as a character as far as what we've seen and I just I, I can't say anything but I really like Shiki's character so far and his powers as well the ability to utilize ether nano and bend it to his whim that is incredibly fucking powerful like we saw it firsthand and it was a lot of fun to get a glimpse into what Shiki may be able to do I would assume though that he may have as well been holding back quite a bit as these robots were actually his friends friends, so assuming that is the case, I am anticipating a lot will come out of his powers. I'm very excited to see what Shiki is capable of in terms of sheer brute strength, and I want to see more of this Ether Nano shit. This is fucking cool. And speaking of strength, thinking of it alone just makes me question whether or not Rebecca has anything up her sleeve. I mean, she can fly a ship, which is pretty fucking cool. And if that's all she really does, I mean, in terms of power, it's still no small feat whatsoever. And it's still quite powerful. I mean, you can do a lot with a ship. You could kind of just, you know, run people over or whatever the fuck you want to do. Ships are powerful. They're, they're powerful, okay? Don't get me wrong. But I would really like to see something outside of Rebecca's ability to pilot a ship possibly maybe see her get a power in the distant future. That would be pretty cool. In general, one of my favorite things about the story thus far is the main characters, Rebecca, Shiki, and of course, Happy. I didn't find any of them unbearable to sit through, not even just the side characters like the king or like every character was very interesting. I liked the robots. I liked what they stood for. I definitely want to know more about why they sent Shiki out aside from the batteries practically killing them and by, you know, the Demon King's direction. I want to know why the Demon King, I guess, wants to send Shiki out, what he thinks Shiki is capable of, I guess, and I'm assuming that it will be further elaborated on in future chapters of Eden Zero, and I cannot complain about the lack of knowledge that we have as far as this first chapter, because we definitely got a lot out of this 81-page chapter of Eden Zero, don't get me wrong. At the end of the day, I liked practically everything, aside from the fan service and the friendship aspect at the beginning kind of scared me, as it was one of the bigger issues with Fairy Tale. 
Let me just say, again, let me reiterate this, Mashima has something going for him, and I am very excited to talk about Eden Zero in more detail, along with theorizing about it. I am as well very excited for the future chapters of Eden Zero, and I do have to say, if Mashima can keep this story upright, keep it with a good foundation, and write it well, he definitely has something going for him, and this could... Oh god, I'm gonna get killed for saying this, this could be the next big shonen manga. Nevertheless, did you guys enjoy chapter one of Eden Zero? What was your favorite parts? What was the parts that you didn't like as much in the first chapter? Tell me all of your opinions in the comment section below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely go ahead and leave it a like as that does help the video and the channel out a lot. Subscribe for more Eden Zero reviews, theories, discussions, reactions, and more. Stay fucking awesome as always and peace.